Hey people, what up? DJ Darren here, RV Life with DJ Darren. Alright, we're doing a furnace update. And I don't even know where to start. This has been crazy uh, since my last video. Let's just start off by saying um, this does have a circuit board. I think I left off on my last video. I didn't see a circuit board. Well, I found it and it was behind a, a big plastic box that goes on this cover here. And so... Basically, my issue was the blower would go on, but it wouldn't fire up any heat. It was working for a bit. It worked for a week, and then it stopped, and then the blower would just go. So I thought it was the relay. I ordered a new relay. That wasn't it. Um, okay, basically, this furnace, this is a um, Hydroflame 8535-1, and so it was put in my RV in 88, so it probably might be an 86 or 87 model. Basically the thermostat on this thing is grounds the circuit so to keep it not technical most other stuff have uh, a positive thermostat which means positive goes through it whereas mine my thermostat just grounds it when you know when you man it's a manual click and it's basically just two wires clicking together and it grounds the whole circuit and that's what starts the the furnace and you know it's called a mechanical thermostat you couldn't get more basic it's it's a little metal winding in there I'll show you when I get inside but basically the relay that I ordered was wrong you don't want that that's the 48,000 48000 relay that did not work that that requires a positive thermostat and also the circuit board that I got did not work that was the dinosaur fan 50 plus that board also requires a positive on the thermostat and I even called dinosaur electronics we tried to get it going uh, I hooked it up a, a couple ways I got it to turn the furnace on but it did not do the cool down period so as soon as the mechanical thermostat clicked off the the furnace completely shut down with no cool down period and it needs a minute and a half to blow air through it after the flames off it needs to cool it down before it shuts off so that was no good so return that and I'm getting the dinosaur electronics UIB post a uh, large board which is going to be a replacement for my board or be exact replacement so I'll just plug the sucker in plug this on the post for the igniter and we're good to go but I replaced the uh, the sail switch is new and the thermo switch is new in there and so we're all good my original relay works so I couldn't find that anywhere so we're just keeping that in there um, keeping the old sail switch and the thermo switch as just replacement parts on the road I replaced this too this is just a standard 10 amp circuit breaker uh, so I replaced that and then we're ready to go now and so uh, furnace is just ready for the new circuit board which we're going to order today I gotta go uh, return. Uh, I gotta go return the other one, and then I'll order the other one. No, come here soon. I'll get that plugged in, so I can go ahead and begin the installation of this back into my RV. And then from the outside, I'm just gonna plug the board in and hook it all up. So that's good. I'll have some heat, and let me show you guys what we're doing inside. Let's see here. Now, there's my thermos. There's where my furnace goes it sits up pretty good too the little pegs sit there so it sits about a little under two inches off that so what I wanted to do I coated this with spar urethane and pretty nice two coats um, and I, I even did a test of some wood and to hold a flame to it I want this flame proof and whatnot so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm making it a 22 inch by 22 inch just sheet metal that from Home Depot you can just get the sheets of metal, you know, kind of pretty thick. So I'm going to cut it 22 by 22 and just have one sheet that goes underneath the furnace. And I'll glue it down and a couple staples and then I'll feel better, just feel better at night. And then the rest of this, I went ahead and, uh, you're going to like this, I went ahead and modified this so that now this pulls air. It used to pull air in right here, but what we want to do is pull fresh air in and so... I made I cut this little vent here and then I got my vent right here which will be like this and then bam it opens up um, and basically 
there used to be a door right here um, and I took the door off and basically I'm gonna have it kind of hidden I'm gonna have like a sliding bamboo mat and it'll just slide away and you'll be able to get into there so I want to I want to be able to get in here and slide out an air filter I'm putting an air, a filter on here I'm gonna cut it so I got I got this big filter stuff I'm gonna cut house filter stuff and put it on there so that I, I'm going to make a little wood thing so that I can slide the filter in and out and it'll filter so the air will come in through here fresh air come in through here and be pulled this whole area will be sealed here and the furnace will pull all of its air from there and I'll have a secondary one right here that if I want to pull air in here too I, will, I can as well and I'll have a filter on that as well so all filtered air for the furnace, but basically I wanted fresh air coming in from the furnace um, and I want also fresh air when situations when I want my windows closed and I want fresh air coming in and it's being pulled from the fans on the roof. I want cold air, I want fresh air coming in from the floor. So this is one of three vents that will that air will be able to close. So when I'm gone I don't want my AC on and I have roof air. I want it pulling air out of this vent and it'll come through here. I also have another vent in the back I just made. It's called a register, so a floor register. Just a basic six by 12 floor register. So I made that one right there. And just cut it. You see, just cut it right into the RV. Look how thick, look how thick the floor. That, that's super thick. And I still got to do my cork flooring over that, so that's almost, that'll be four and a half inches, five inches of wood total for floor. But anyway, that's my floor vent right there. And I can close it and open it up. Fresh air will not come in through there. And then the next one will be at the front of the RV, so it'll be, it'll be right there. I'll cut it into the, there's a one vent two vent three vents so it covers my floor but really I wanted the idea was that I wanted filtered air coming into my heater so that it would be filtered you know I don't want dust in there and whatnot so if I could find my if I could find my filter I don't know where it went let's see here let's see sorry you guys I don't know where the filter went but anyway, so that's the upgrade I'm doing on that. Also, I'm adding a second tube. I got all new tubing material here. And it looked like in the manual, the regulations are to, uh, for the amount of air that this thing pushes, you're supposed to have four or more. Four or more of these tubes coming out of that furnace blowing air. And this one only had three. So that's not good at all. That means it's, it's not... It's struggling to push air out. It's not good. It's going to overheat it. So I'm adding another one of these. So I got so I got one coming out here. I'm relocating one coming through there. I got another one coming out right here instead of right here. I don't want it blowing on my electronics. So I don't want heat blowing on my electronics. So they blow out into there. My other one's going to blow out right there. I'm going to cap that one. The other one will blow out there. So there's heat blowing out there. And my third one... I'm gonna I'm gonna snake it through there and then it's gonna come out right there and so the heat that'll be the extra one I add so and then there's already one going behind all this that goes out into the bedroom too so four of them so proper four of these coming out like it should be this is minimum so it could be more but four minimum so four coming out good and also one thing I did was it says that every 90 degree turn you make on this, you it, it, it's 10 feet. It's like adding 10 feet. That means it slows it down. It's like adding 10 feet of tubing that it has to go through. So every 90 degree turn is terrible. So basically I modified this. It used to be coming out here and across there and under. And then it would come up and then go across, come down, and across. So there's four right angles. So now I'm inside here. I'm coming up. I'll be coming out right there, going straight across. I'll wrap it straight across, and then I'll go straight across the top and in. So I'm actually eliminating four 
unnecessary right angles that it makes in here. It'll just go straight across the top. So that's genius. And now I'll get a lot more airflow out coming out here because there was not much airflow because it's like, damn, four right angles. That's like making it go through 40 feet extra of hose. So that's unacceptable. Now we'll have good airflow going through there. It'll go right through there. It'll be all wrapped, insulated, and nice. And then the people will be floor room for people to put their feet. And you won't have this. You won't have that sitting there. It'll be up there. It'll be all wrapped up. And then floor will be all nice and straight. So that's the mod I did. Keeping this, keeping that though cut. So.